you, you was on some podcast and you talk about how Too Short don't get his credit. Right. Well, tell me that real quick, because I'm going to tell you why you don't get yours. Man, in hopes that you're not just bloviating, man, I appreciate that, man. You, what did the, you say? <laughs> Now you know I had one class. I don't understand <laughs> nothing about. I had resources. I didn't have with a gate. He means like, he hopes that Sife means what he just said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just talking. To but it was kind of a deep that way was, to say yeah, it. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Okay. <laughs> just to be in the company at all. I mean, and he does bloviate. So that's oh, that's I'm a good. Bloviate. Premier yeah, is my favorite blo- producer ever. So yeah. to be mentioning him, that was dope. Um, but no, what I was saying was basically about too short, man. You know. Um, The alleged gatekeepers of hip hop, the alleged gatekeepers of hip hop, are definitely East Coast bias. Yes. And so yes, when we when we when we talk about well, it started here. That's why. Most definitely. I but mean, yes, I, you're I, right. I, that's not to be denied. You're right. You know, you can't argue with fact. <laughs> Wait, well, real real quick. I just happened to be watching Straight Outta Compton the other day, and the way they treat the New York rappers that were in the studio that was supposed to do Boys oh, in the Hood, so they, they, they did us so dirty. They, I forgot how dirty they did they us. Really? They're like, yo, B, the, I don't like this B, B. Like, group. it was so bad. That was funny. So, yeah. So, but, yeah. Okay, East so Coast the gatekeepers bias. do have East Coast bias. I would so, agree. So, when we look at the Billboard list that was dropped a few months ago, and we see all this, and, you know, any you want to get somebody... Irritated and agitated create a list. We, trust me, and, know. And, and, and so these lists will create the most craziest conversations yeah. everywhere around the world. But when you see 50 artists and then you see some of the artists that are on that list and you don't see too short, to me, I'm just like, shred the whole list. Yeah. And the reason being is because how can you exclude someone that has been there since the beginning? That is still relevant mm-hmm. till this day. To this day, who just got off a tour grossing twenty million, a tour he, who who who's booked every weekend, who's dropped over. If he wants to be, yeah, yeah, he like, wants yeah, to be. yeah. If he could chill at home, if he, he has a residency in Las Vegas, he does. Like like this is too short. Like you look at all of the the times that he's been sampled, all of the time uh, his influence, and then you'd be like. Dude, this is somebody that's this. He's a fifty-seven-year-old man who lives like he's twenty-two and doesn't care about anything. Well, like it, the, I guess, I guess there's a couple ways of looking at this. If you were to have a conversation that was just based on you know straight up quote lyricism, right? right. I can understand why you wouldn't put too short, super duper high. But the reality is, when you look at those lists. There are a lot of people who are on there who are not Chino XL. You know what I mean? A lot of people, or Rask Cast. A lot of people on those lists are there because of all the things you just mentioned. Most definitely. The influence, the success, the hits, um, all those different things, which is why it would make no sense to not have Too Short on that list. It just has to be a, when we're doing these lists, there has to be a a multitude of different stuff. Uh, 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 sections yeah, and like categories. factors of how okay skill okay we want to talk skill he may not be your favorite rapper when we say skill wise but when like, we talk like, about mo- like like lyric like a Nas like lyrics, lyrics like a Nas, Nas lyric. okay I mean but listen no no two shorts I think two short be the first to admit he's not a complex rapper that's not what okay. he does he's, he's always right. said that he's all but but when we talk about greatest storytellers influence influence we when we people when they talk about great storytellers they never mention short which never. to me is crazy like if you just go back and listen Rick. to freaky tales yeah. he did a seven minute song about lord knows how many women and just different stories and yeah. tales about them like these tales were crazy cuss words invasion of the flat booty bitch like they, we have to talk about the things that he was doing <laughs> at a time where people wasn't even cursing in their raps yeah that was like, he was like, whoa, you said what? You called a woman a bitch? Whoa. Yeah. Like, for him to have the audacity and the courage to do that at these times, to not come with the sugar uh, sugar heel flow, the hit, he uh-huh. didn't come with none of that flow, and he came around that same time. Right. So that flow was like the most bit flow around the world. Everybody wanted to be Curtis Blow. Everybody wanted to be Sugar Hill. He came with a whole different, like, whoa. like, And so... And then, and then uh, he got uh, the influence that he had, the amount of people he put on, right? The 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 out the trunk hustle, the hustle, the hustle of 
independent before we even used the, the word, word independent. independent. Uh, also, yeah. also the Sonics musically. Oh, the baseline, the actual baseline, the Sonics. Baseline. And he was producing a majority of those songs um, right. in the infancy stages of his career. Right, he was the actual producer. Yeah. So when we look at that, we look at the fact, okay. We're not good in the skill category. We may not be up there like the Nas's and like the, you know, the J's and the KRS ones and all of these other great MCs over the time, but where he totally has them whooped is let's talk about sales. Let's talk about who did who went platinum more times, who went gold more times, who did more collaborations, no, um, who put out more records, who had who made more he money, said he had, who had more fun. He said well, he had also a song had with, an with he's again. the only rapper that had a song with Biggie, Pac, Pac Jay Z, Jay, uh, Pimp MC, C, like like Snoop all of dog. them. Yeah. Well, and, and when you think about the way people, and I, this will, I, I always tread lightly on this subject. When you think about the way people grade Pac. They give Pac the extra scores that you're talking about. Yes. Because Pac, I always, and I know people get mad about this. Here we go. Pac and Biggie, you cannot compare them lyrically. Because Biggie was on, in terms of the rapidy rap skill, yeah. Biggie's on a different level. Pac gets his other points in other places. Right. Influence. And, and Influence, which, yeah. I mean, and just the way he hits people in the heart. Yeah, there's right, a right. there's something about him as a person that's different. You gotta do the same thing for too sure, short. Yeah. Even though they're totally different in terms of what they did, you gotta give short those extra points also. And like shorts, Pac's big homie. Like this is Pac wearing life is too short shirts. Mm -hmm. Like this is the big homie in the music game. Right. This is the guy that who Jay Z sought after to put on his album. Mm -hmm. like Everybody we, did. We talk about these collaborations. These are times. Now, mind you, let's talk about the times. Well, he's on big album too. He's on big album yeah. too. Let's talk about the times that these events occurred. This is the time where the East Coast West Coast is like it's. What yeah, side yeah. are you on? Oh, no, yeah. no, no. Short was completely. I'm, I'm short. He didn't even matter.